All right, I want to talk about another important piece of equipment that comes with your tracheostomy tube that you need to look out for and make sure you don't throw away accidentally or lose when you're pulling out a new tracheostomy tube. And that is this device right here, the obturator. The obturator is an essential piece of equipment anytime you're going to be placing a tracheostomy tube into the stoma because it's going to protect your patient from any injury. The way it works, you take your tracheostomy tube and usually the inner cannula is already in there that's going to need to come out. You're going to take that out and then you're going to take your obturator. I really like this one because it's a different color so you can recognize it. And then you're just going to go ahead and slide it into place. And as you can see on the distal end now this rounded edge is covering over the ridge and the edges of the distal tracheostomy tube so it makes a nice solid piece that's going to slide easily into the stoma without causing injury. Now, when you're ready to place it, I, what I like to do is hold it by the flange and then place your index finger on top of the obturator. Because if you don't and you sort of hit something, it'll just pop out and then that defeats the purpose and this, this sharp edge will then become exposed again. So index finger on here, follow the curve of the stoma into the trachea. Once you're seated in place, then you can go ahead and remove the tracheostomy obturator and then replace it with the inner cannula, inflate the cuff if you need to, and then oxygenate your patient. All right, that is the obturator, a very important but often neglected piece of equipment. Make sure you know where it is at all times, keep it at the bedside, use it every time you're reinserting or inserting a tracheostomy tube.